One of the arguments is that the Teslas are starting to have a dated look. So the Model S came out around 2012. Okay, so it's been out for 12 years. There's really not been any major change in that. All all the major ones, all the traditional gas cars, yeah, every five, 10 years, like, oh, we've got to revamp this. It's not cosmetic changes. It's this needs to look different. But they don't seem to really be that concerned about changing the older models. Not, you know, it's not really been a big issue. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. I'm joined today by Mike Herzog. How's it going today, Mike? Doing great, David. Working from home for the day and got my blurry background on. We've got no issue with that. So Tesla is 51% of all EV sales in the United States. Mm -hmm. And so it's just really hard. And then you have all these other companies, you know, that make up this big list competing with, with Tesla. And it's tough. Now, one of the arguments is that the Teslas are starting to have a dated look. They haven't changed. I know the Model 3 got a revamp this year, but, you know, when you look at these, most of these other cars are a new design. That's very interesting to me now that you bring that up. And have you heard any rumblings about that, about better better designs? You know, hey, we're going to come out with a new, new exterior look, new interior, because that's just... It's the same. That's cyclical car business. Um, and it's one... All, all the major ones, all the traditional gas cars, yeah, every five, 10 years, like, oh, we've got to revamp this. It's not cosmetic changes. It's this needs to look different. Well, we'll look at this. You know, you think about the different Tesla models. The Model S came out around 2012. Okay, so it's been out for 12 years. There's really not been any major change in that, okay? The Model X was next. That came out, I think, in 2017 or 18. So that's only been out for six, seven years. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it, it'd be coming to a time where maybe there should be some changes, but is it really time yet? And then the Model 3 came out um, 19 or 20. Yeah. So, I mean, we're only talking less than five years and they've already done a revamp on it. And the Y came out after that, maybe 21. So, I'm just saying that you've got not a whole lot of years on these designs, but the EV market is so new that it's starting to make some of these look a little bit dated. It is. And I, I will I mean, Tesla is such a unique look. It's Tesla. I mean, it looks it looks like a Tesla when it comes through. And, and it's just you got my brains, my wheels turning a little bit thinking about that, where it's that's part just part of the car car cycle um, is, is redesigned looks and in some cases drastically redesigned looks. And I wonder... I just wonder how that fits on their roadmap. Uh, so so much innovation from the technology side and the feature side and making it better and making, you know, improving self-driving, improving all the bells and whistles, but just the fundamental, what's it look like um, from the outside? I wonder how that fits into their plans. Well, you know, if you look at each car that Tesla has released, each time they release a new car, it's their best-selling car. So they had the S, which was their only car. Well, they had a Roadster before that, right? They had the Roadster before, but that that was a novelty car. I mean, for what it was, yeah. Yeah, and then you had the X. Then the X started out selling the S, and it was also expensive. Then you had the Model 3 came out, which blew them both away because it was less expensive. And now you have the Y, and the Y is taken over. Mm -hmm. And it's so... And they've got another car coming along soon. It's another sports car. I've already forgotten if they're going to call it the Roadster again or what. But, you know, they're basically bringing that back. But they've also got, they're supposed to bring the Model 2 or some other sub $25,000 EV out in the first quarter of next year, which they've given no sneak peek looks or anything. You know, so we don't really know what that's going to look like. But they don't seem to really be that concerned about changing the older models. Uh, you know, it's not really been a big issue. Maybe, maybe that's, I mean, they've innovated so much in the industry. Maybe that's what they're going to do and just say, we're not going to revamp. We're going to just bring new models. Hi, I'm David with EV World News. If you like this video, then please press the like button. If you like the content and would like to see more videos on electric vehicles, then please hit the subscribe button. If you have some feedback for us, please let us know in the comments. Have a great day.